Now, let's start by looking at how to add an effect and configure it. To keep things musical, we are going to mute a few tracks but keep a harmonic context. Let's begin with track 7, which is linked to the BIA in this patch. Let's generate some notes and have a quick listen. Sounds pretty rough, right? So, first order of business is to add a scale effect. Hit the effect button to bring the effect slots. There are two ways to add an effect. You can select an empty slot and press the encoder. Or, faster, just hold a pad that corresponds to an empty slot. Once you're in the selection menu, simply pick an effect and press to add it. I'll place the scale effect in the last slot. That way, I'm making sure all the notes are processed through the scale at the very end of the chain. I set the scale to pentatonic major and leave the other parameters as they are. Already sounding a lot better, right? Now I'll add a few effects at the beginning of the chain to reduce the number of notes and bring some randomness to the pattern. I won't dive into every single parameter, otherwise this video will be hours long, but I'll drop a link to the manual so you can check it out if you need more details. Let's start by adding a chance effect to make the pattern a bit less dense. I'll adjust the sync chance parameter to give it a more rhythmic feel. Next, I throw in a random effect to add some variation and keep things interesting. I'll go for some extra notes here and there and some octave jumps as well. <laughs> 